This research discusses the design and modeling framework for Dexter, a dexterous continuum tensegrity manipulator. This work is presented by the Agile Robotics Lab at the University of Alabama. First, what is tensegrity? Tensegrity synergistically combines tension elements such as pre stress cables with compression elements like rigid rods to achieve structural integrity. The features of tensegrity allow it to be useful for many different applications relating to space, biomechanical modeling, and robotic manipulation. The key features of tensegrity mechanisms that allow them to be so versatile are they are packable, allowing them to be more portable, internally stable such that gravity is not required for structural stability, they are modular and thus reconfigurable, and they have a high strength to weight ratio. The main challenge with these mechanisms is that they are difficult to fabricate and model given the antagonistic nature of compressive and tension elements. This work has two main contributions. First, the design of Dexter, a five-fold design methodology that can be used to build modular tensegrity systems more efficiently. Second, a modeling approach that uses screw theory, which allows for geometric basis where the number of unknowns is proportional to the number of rigid lengths applicable to complex geometries and facilitates ease of representation of forces and torques with spring tension model of compliance strengths. The first part of the design of Dexter is module selection. This is one of the most important steps as it will be the building block for the tensegrity system. A base polyhedron such as a prism, platonic, Archimedean, or Johnson solid can be used as a basis for the tensegrity module. In the case of Dexter, the J84 Johnson solid, also known as the snub dysphenoid, was used. The next step is to identify the string paths, which are found using the graph of the vertices of the snub dysphenoid. For this design, there is an Euler path that traverses all the green edges or strings, resulting in only one string being needed to complete the structure. Another important part of the design is pre-stressing the strings to physically tune the form of the mechanism and then ensuring that the process results in a stable structure. Once the individual modules have been built, the modules must be joined or docked with each other. There are two different modes of intermodule docking, vertex to vertex or string to vertex. Now that the whole system structure is made, actuation must be incorporated in to make the structure mobile. Dexter's actuation involves four motor tendon actuators that are routed along each side of the manipulator and are controlled by using four motors that are located in the white base. To model these tensegrity structures, a new method using lead groups and screw theory is applied. This method uses the ideas of rotation and transformation matrices to calculate the location of one subvertebra with respect to another. A string force model is also introduced to characterize the properties of an elastic string. There are three force regions of the string, flat where the force is zero, spring where the force is found using Hooke's law, and pure tension where the string is fully stretched and acts as an inelastic cable. Using the lead groups method, a single vertebra was able to be simulated, first with no force applied as seen in the left figure, then a force was applied, resulting in the static structure on the right. It can be seen that when the force is applied, two of the strings become slack, A2 to B1 and A2 to C1, showing the effect of the string force model in the simulation. Using open loop control, Dexter is able to move with and without a payload in its configuration space. Thank you for watching.